Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with Lark, Generation 4 heir of the Dawn Moon Pack, as he has just woken up from his sleep to find that Swallow is now encouraging her little sister Dove, or I guess Dove is actually big sister because Dove is the biggest of the pack, to go ahead and wander away from the den. This is, this is not acceptable, Swallow. Also, Dove, maybe you were encouraging it. You should know better. I think Lark would be a little bit stressed about that because having the pups wander off is not his idea of a good time. <gasps> are they actually eating from- Meek, Meek, are you trying to eat from the little chunk of meat we have down here? Okay, Meek, I think, is trying to eat from the chunk of meat, but alas, still a little too small to be able to do that. So we'll go ahead and pre-chew all of that food for them. Yay! And Cinder actually just fed all of the other girls and Atlas as well. Ah, oh, all right. Well, welcome back, everyone. Lark has just been catching up on some rest after all of the hunting and territory defending he has done. And so far, other than the deep tragedy of losing little Soot, and other than the fact that Dove continues to try to, to wander away lately, everything has been going okay. Oh, listen to that. And hopefully... Oh, listen to everybody else. Little tiny squeaky howl from Atlas. That was so cute. And hopefully when I say everything has been going pretty well, we have not uh, potentially cursed ourselves. But let's see. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Mink, there you are. Oh, thank goodness. But look at this. The pups are already over 10 pounds. Dove, Raven, and Swallow, so all of the bird-themed pups, actually, are already over 10 pounds. Lark has been doing such a great job with them. I am so impressed. I really feel like Cinder being a much older mate, but also being a mate who has more experience than, say, Rosetta of the Dawn Moon Pack with raising pups, has kind of contributed to them putting on weight so fast. The fleas are feeling pretty mild, and we actually need to strengthen up our territory to the south or use the opportunity to push north and maybe claim a little bit more of the territory away from the crevice lake pack. And since the pups are getting so big, I think we might go north today and we might expand our territory a little bit and see if Lark is able to go ahead and bring home anything delicious for his pups to help them grow even faster. I think instead of like expanding a huge territory, Cinder would be constantly encouraging Lark to look for something to hunt because the most important thing is to feed the pups and make sure that they get big as fast as possible. All right, Raven. Raven's actually like chasing small birds in the grass in the middle of the night. What? That's adorable. Who are your guys' favorite pups so far, by the way? I would love to know. I think that Swallow, because she keeps running away, is definitely a favorite. And little Dove with those adorable little eyebrows is absolutely a favorite too. I really, really love her. And now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to set out. And Lark is going to use his voice to go forth, establish some territory. And wait, what? What do you mean there's a bunch of male wolves from the slip and slide pack like right on top of our den? That's not allowed. That's absolutely not allowed. I think that a lot of instinctive and very protective urges would come over Lark and we're gonna go ahead and investigate what that is all about. It can't be good waking up and like, just the smell of a intruder, a dangerous intruder is all over the place. In fact, I wonder if the pups can kind of smell that. And then Lark sets off at a run to like fight some intruders. I wonder if one of his pups might grow up with a lifetime quest of uh, like chasing a certain number of intruders out of their territory. All right, where are they? Also for the record, today Lark rolled being so clumsy that he is not able to hunt any mule deer. So if we run across any mule deer again, uh, unfortunately we won't be able to hunt them like you guys. You got luck very lucky that he's too clumsy for that today. However, let's figure out where these stranger wolves are coming from. Up here? The scent has almost completely dissipated. Aha, so they are coming from over here. All right, they're also coming from where a cougar is, and I think, oh, 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 oh. what is this about? All right, so it's kind of confused, but th 
three hours ago. Look right here. Okay, so there were a whole bunch of intruders. Oh, are they hunting in our territory? Is that what's going on here? I think that is what's going on here. Okay, not only is that not acceptable, but let's see if maybe they've by chance weakened one of these elk. Okay, this is a pretty weak cow elk. Are you gonna try to attack me? Yeah, no. This is our territory. Oh! I don't care if it's your hunt. Yeah, these are some dispersal males. Whoa, they're so dark colored. This is kind of amazing, and one of them actually has a tag on. All of you would be better served. Okay, let's see. All right, there we go. I'm trying to grab the intruder by the scruff of the neck. Look at him. We don't want him in our zone. Yeah, I think one of Lark's children might actually grow up determined to like defend their, their home. Did he just chase them away? I think he did. Yeah, it was two brothers, I think. Slip and slide male 11 and slip and slide male 12. And they chased all of this elk herd away. But I think we, oh, we told them what for. Heck, is this elk hurt? Yes, all right, all right. And now we're getting dragged into it. But they did weaken several elk. So there's actually several very wounded elk. And I'm not gonna turn down an opportunity to be able to get more food, even if this elk unfortunately has some sisters and cousins who are doing their best to try to help. I think that the elk actually got kicked by the other elk. I legitimately think the elk got kicked by other elk, you guys. And we actually had the elk end up, end up like helping us take down a kill. I did not expect this. It's almost like the elk like came to join a herd in a way, or like our pack. An unexpected member of the new pack. These elk. Wow. I'll have to go back to double check, but I'm pretty sure. Ow! You jerk. These calic will start running in, in just a second, I think. Yeah, there we go. That was that was a little bit a little bit ironic, but in the dark of the night, <laughs> this cow elk ended up getting kicked in the head by uh, actually her her like herd mates because because of all of the confusion. That is definitely something. I didn't expect that. Hey, and at least I think that's the, maybe the same herd. We'll have to double check, but it's a similar herd to the one that we were just hunting a little bit ago. All right, is Cinder hungry? Cinder is hungry. We'll go ahead and call her to us. And the next day, like, look at this. We had an elk kill last time. We have an elk kill this time. Every time I'm worried that Lark won't be able to provide somehow, he ends up proving me wrong. So the closest pack that we're near is actually Junction Butte. And I think because we actually came from the north and saw these stranger wolves running to the south, I'll go ahead and let Lark try to claim this chunk to the south as well. Just to kind of push not only those slip and slide males away, but also the Junction Butte pack. <gasps> okay, I don't think he planned on slipping down a mountain. Unlike his cousin Rosetta, Lark is not quite the billy goat. He doesn't enjoy it, but he does fall off of cliff sides regularly. He is pretty clumsy. This is not the first time we have just ra raced him off a cliff side. And I'm pretty proud of him! Wow, so what I, one of the big things I really, really, really want to start doing with the generations of our wolf packs that we have coming up, guys, is basing their lifetime challenges off of the special things that their parents have done. So um, Rosetta's been bit by a lot of beavers, for instance. Lark has ended up being clumsy, but he's also like, had Swallow wander around and maybe have a little bit of the Dinless challenge. He's chased away intruders. He's claimed a lot of territory, more or less just with his voice. So I would love to start coming up with ideas now that can kind of help guide us for the future. 
for when the pups, hopefully, I mean, unless something horrific happens and like Lark dies or we end up losing the entire litter of our pups, I would really love to start coming up with challenges that his children might inherit based off of what he and Cinder do. So if you guys can help me think those things through, that would be fantastic. And just leave your suggestions down in the comments. And if any of y'all are like in our Patreon Discord, if you could collect some of the best suggestions, it would help me so much with our huge goal and journey, because it is a huge goal and it is a huge journey, of trying to get to 10 generations of wolf pups successfully launched and surviving all the way to the summer hunting grounds with both the dawn and the dark moon pack we're almost halfway there i feel like we should do a huge celebration and i actually think that chips and i might be going to yellowstone during generation five or right before generation six at this rate cinder here lark's feeling so proud of himself we're gonna go ahead and do a little chin rest just to be happy to see our mate again and actually, does that help us out with Cinder? Maybe if we do body. Can we can we go ahead and maybe snip noses? Lick face? Bond a little? Are you worried about being away from the pups and wondering why we called you here? Yeah, she's like, a pack of is not going up because I'm I why did you call me? Alright, we'll take her to the food. But if you guys could help me with that, it would be a tremendous benefit, not only as a huge help so that we'll be able to tackle this mammoth gigantic goal that is going to take me over a year of my life to achieve, uh, but if you guys could also do that, it would be a wonderful opportunity for your curiosity and for you to share some ideas with some of our other pixel biologists, because I know a lot of you guys are doing Wolf Quest generational challenges as well, and it makes me so excited to have introduced the fun, the sheer, like, awesomeness of being able to do generational challenges with you guys, and to you guys, for you guys to do yourself. I really feel like it just adds so much excitement and so much fun to- Oh no, we're going in the wrong direction! Okay, Cinder's really not going to be happy with us now. But the slip and slide pack might be eating our carcass, which uh, would not be allowed either. We'll have to go and take care of that if that's the case. But I'm just- I'm so happy for you guys because it means that we have- manage to go ahead and introduce a concept where you can use your ah, lark you can use your own curiosity your own creativity and come up with your own stories as well and there is truly nothing more empowering in life i think than being able to create if you have the ability to create a story for the wolves that you love and for the games that you love for the stories that you love fan fiction and stuff like that I feel like that is so, so, so important to do. Little role plays in the comments. It's so important to do because then eventually you'll realize that you can create stories for yourself as well. And so one day, if you have a story about yourself you don't like, you'll be able to turn around and you'll be able to tell a story to yourself about yourself. Like a little, imagine if you made a little fanfic for yourself for your own life. That's what I'm talking about. And then you could make it come true. I know that sounds weird, but that's kind of what creativity can do. It can let you see even yourself in a new way. And how do you get there so that if you're not happy with yourself in life, you can try to get to a point of being happy? You get there through utilizing your creativity. And you utilize your creativity in little ways, like being able to write fanfics that you really love first. So there we go, a little bit of Siri-ism and Siri-wisdom. As Cinder is now full, the puppies are huge chonkers. The elk has been fully hunted. And Lark can once again proudly strode through, or stride through, I should say, the dawn light and make his way back to his wolf pups, knowing that so far, clumsy paws are not all is well in his world. So all right, guys, if you guys could do please leave a like for our lucky lark. He's starting to turn his bad luck around. Knock on wood. There's plenty of wood to knock on. Maybe we can grab a beaver while we're at it. 
And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.